What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are trying the Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Um, their ads say it's 100% Whopper, 0% beef. It's not vegan, it does have mayo on it, and they also cook it on the same, I guess, grill or flat top that they cook the beef burgers in, so it's not vegan, but you can request it to be cooked on a different surface. So if you are vegan, you can say no mayo and request the different surface, but I'm a big meat eater. I'm more just here to see how it compares to the actual beef Whopper. So I got one of each regular Whopper, which I never get. I'm not a big Burger King eater in general and here's the impossible both sandwiches are kind of expensive i got these which one's gonna be good am i gonna be able to tell the difference keep watching and i also got mozzarella sticks because i've been in the mood for mozzarella sticks never knew that burger king had them and i figured i'd give them a try on camera too so they say nuggets but it's actually mozzarella sticks so tiny. So these three things came to $13.55 with tax. And what else was I gonna say? Oh, I got I brought myself a knife so that I can cut both sandwiches, well both burgers in half so we can do a cross section. So let me do that now. I don't know how I'm gonna do this in the car. Alright. Whoppers are a pretty big burger. I really wanted to get cheese on both because I'm not a plain, I don't really like plain burgers, but I didn't want people to be like, you had to get the original in order to judge it. I'm cutting the Impossible Burger first so I don't get meat, any kind of meat contamination on the Impossible Burger so I can get a real test to see of how it tastes and if it's meaty. Okay, cutting this. Oh god, please don't get everywhere. Okay, here is the Impossible Whopper. It really looks like a burger. Can you see? Okay, that's the Impossible. I really just want to take a bite of this now. Should I take a bite now or cut that one and show you? Alright, I'll cut the other one quick, the real... Whopper. I got juice on my hands from the tomato. Whenever I hear Whopper, I still think of that Dane Cook sketch where he's like, Whopper, screaming into the drive through Whopper, no onion. What happened to Dane Cook? I think he's actually touring again. Do you guys like pickles on your burgers? I love pickles, but I know a lot of people say no pickles. Okay, here's the Whopper with real meat. God, so much lettuce. Sorry, it's messy. All right, put this down. Then I'm gonna try the Impossible Burger first. All right, let's see. Impossible burger. Going in. I didn't watch anyone else's reactions. I've only seen the reactions from the Burger King videos because I wanted to like really not be biased or have a biased opinion going in. But first thoughts, really tastes like a Whopper, like beef, you wouldn't know. Okay, second bite. Tastes slightly more like a veggie patty, but it has that flame grilled taste to it. 
that really makes it taste like a bur like a real beef burger. Honestly, if someone gave me this and said, here, I got you a Whopper. Someone's walking by right now. Okay, they left. Got you a Whopper and I ate it. Would no, I have no idea. That it wasn't real beef. That's pretty crazy. Now... I'm going to try the patty by itself because I'm sure the toppings kind of make it, give it that real, it's weird, it's pretty dead on with meat, texture and everything. But you can really taste that like flame grilled Burger King quintessential taste. Hmm. Whoppers are very messy. I'm gonna eat this half. It's really good. I'm shocked. Usually I'm. I felt like I would eat this and be like, nope, I can taste the difference. It tastes like a veggie burger. Oh no. Crazy. Now, I wonder how this, the Impossible Burger, compares to the Beyond Meat Burger. And, I still gotta try the Beef Burger to compare. Okay. Now, on to the real whopper. Alright, beef. It's even the same thickness. The patty. It tastes, okay, definitely beefier, but I'm telling you, between the two, it's almost dead on. Crazy. The amount of testing that probably went into this. Before I got launched. Nuts. Ooh, so much pickle in this one. They did a great job with the Impossible Whopper. I did look up some nutrition facts beforehand. From what I remember, do not quote me. Um, the Impossible Whopper had more sodium, no trans fats, lower cholesterol. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it still had cholesterol, but it was a lot lower. Calories slightly lower by like 30 calories. What else? Um, the beef whopper had more protein, and I believe Impossible had more fiber. Oh, bit my lip. So it's up to you nutrition wise what you're looking for okay time to try them with your outfit okay so it's three to an order why can't they make it four no herbs just 
plain breadcrumb. So tiny. Good, but my favorite mozzarella sticks are probably the farm rich frozen ones. Those are better than these. But these are not bad. They're just, oh, there are four. Surprise. It's like a bonus ride, but bonus mozzarella stick. There are four in there. It's so hot. I'm sweating. The sun is like beating on the left side of my body. Everything I had today was delicious. I love good food reviews. And might I add, the Burger King drive-thru was beyond fast. There are probably six cars ahead of me. I ordered, got my food in maybe a minute. I don't know the nutrition of the mozzarella sticks. I'll look after and then probably be sad. All right. That's all for my lunch today. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next taste test. Bye, guys.